And question is important is if you're asymptomatic, are you just as likely to infect someone as you are if you're symptoms? It's not, no, that's not, that's not the case. You know, we talked about this um, last week, I believe, is that if you're asymptomatic, there, there are, you know, reports from, um, I think, less than 10% or 25% of people getting infected, maybe getting from asymptomatic folks. But still, if you're symptomatic and you're coughing and sneezing and the respiratory droplets are, you're exposing people, you know, um, uh, actively, that's, of course, you're more likely to infect someone. So asymptomatic people can, can infect people, right? But if you're symptomatic, coughing, sneezing, respiratory droplets everywhere, that also, you know, that's, that's obviously you have more of a likelihood of spreading it. So the minority of folks are asymptomatic spreading it. That's the whole idea behind the CDC's recommendation of changing, right, the recommendation of, of wearing masks, because now we know that asymptomatic people can actually uh, spread this. So you want to make sure that if that's the case, if asymptomatic people are are, um, are, are spreading it, you want to wear masks. Now, the mask typically, you know, especially if you're doing homemade masks, I don't, ex- I don't recommend anybody's wearing N95s or hospital-grade masks because you don't want to take those away from hospital personnel who are desperately looking for personal protective equipment. We talk about PPEs, right? So you, you can make homemade masks. And, and the Surgeon General has asked, you know, showed ways to make homemade masks. However you get your mask, you are you protect yourself from giving it to others, right? But you you don't always protect um, protect uh, getting it from uh, from other people. You protect, you you get your respiratory droplets to not spread to others, but it doesn't mean you're always protecting yourself from somebody else. But listen, my mask protects you. Your mask protects me. You know, what a great concept. And lots of people in Asia, Eastern Europe, already embraced that way before we did. So important stuff.